Hello and welcome back to another Cult of the Land video, episode five, I believe. And first off, I want to say I'm sorry for not posting in a while. This game actually takes a lot of time to play and a lot of time to get through because it's not just a roguelite. You got to manage the whole base and everything, but we're just going to jump into it. So first things first, I don't know if I've shut off my base in a while, but basically here's my base. We have almost, we built everything. We have everything unlocked at this point. Let me clean up this real quick. We basically have everything unlocked. We have level two mining, we have level two wood, we have level two everything, basically. If we look at the tree real quick, I'll show you my tree. We have unlocked everything in the tree. I have basically unlocked everything. And at this point, the cult doesn't, I don't really need the cult other than just to keep them happy and everything like that. So what we're just gonna do for now is we're just gonna run the roguelite. We're gonna try and beat this final boss and I'm probably gonna skip to it real quick just to save time. So, you know, after not posting for so long, what I'm gonna try and do for you guys, I'm gonna try and beat not just one, but two bosses in today's video. So there's gonna be some cutting and, but we're gonna get through it and I'm gonna, you know, I owe it to you. Here we go. All right, it looks like there's a lot of things that changed this game. I think they made this weapon stronger, but we have successfully made it through this whole dungeon without getting hurt. The, now the goal is we're gonna skip this and hopefully we can win this for once and not lose the bullet hell. This has been the toughest one ever. Yeah, but all we gotta do is just survive. That's all we gotta do, not get hit, and just survive. We just gotta not get hit and just survive. We just gotta not get hit and just survive. That's all we gotta do. All right, 650 damage, we love that. Now this, is, this has been the hardest thing for me is dodging these, these weird ball attacks. I've had such trouble with this. And now it's, just, now it's about go time to see if we can actually do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was close. All right, we're close. Oh my god, he almost got me there. Alright, one more, one more. Yes, dude, let's go! First try of the day. We've done it. Oh my god. It helps to not get hit and have 660% damage. And I will never give up on this robe. There it is, boss number one down. I told you, I told you boys I was gonna do it and I did. I did do it. There we are. Here we go. You know what? I made a statement earlier. I made a statement earlier that I don't need my Colt, and then that was a lie. I do need my Colt. I gotta keep them happy, and for one reason, one reason only, I need them. Oh my God, we got all sorts of stuff. Do we get something? Do we get something cool because we got we did a no hit? For killing, yeah, I think we got something for doing a no hit. Anyways, um, I need it for one thing and one thing only, and that is because I can't open up the rest of the dungeons until unless I have enough cultists. So. I do need them, although the, the whole like managing them part is kind of redundant to me now. It's just like, kind of keeping them happy because we think we have more than enough. Calamar was always a coward. This land is a better place now. His pathetic shriveling carcass is nothing more than a mound. Soon I shall be freed and the world will be remade in my image. All that pilgrims will be their name. The cult all will bow to the name. All I really want to know in this game is we're probably fighting him as the final boss. And two, is there an end game? What happens after I beat all the bosses? Is it over or do I get to keep going? Suffering shall turn into triumph. The ones who die, who did perish shall now pray. Oh, 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 that's all I really want to know. You know? Yeah, that's, I mean, I think at this point we've figured everything out. I just want to know if there's an end game now because there's gotta be, I'm not taking that guy's quest. Quests are bait. I am going to wake him up to do a sermon. No, I'm not. Hello, sir. You can come join the homies. Wait, you, know, you know what? You're just another guy. You're another guy to help things keep moving. So we'll just bring you in here. Can't believe we came back and went through a whole day. Um, just do. We always put them on build. Just whatever's left to do. That's it. That's all we need you for. There are not enough beds for all your followers. You get a new follower. Natural recruit. Naturally obedient trait. I thought this could hold up to 900. 175 feels really weak. I thought this was more than. Did they nerf this? Oh, you know what they did? They nerfed. So that update came out since as long as we've been playing it. An update came out where uh, I don't know what happened. I didn't read the patch list, but it looks like I need less tears than I did before. And now we're getting less tears from this stuff. So that makes sense now. Okay. That makes sense. At least Buddy's still doing the farm thing. That's good. Good for you, Buddy. Cauliflowers seem to be OPAF. So that's what we're going to be working on for now. Keep the cauliflower goof going. Cauliflower and... In, 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 um, I have him. He's full. I was gonna say cauliflower and um, flowers, but I'll see you guys in a bit when we start doing the next dungeons. All right, it's time to unlock the last dungeon before we get to fight the mega boss. So let's unlock this. We'll run through. Um, we'll run through this one. We'll see this first one, and I'll probably just show all the bosses afterwards. Um, just you know, 
That way, can I can make you make get you that promise I made you, so we can at least see two bosses, two boss fights. Um, it all depends on how these runs go. We'll see. I mean, they're gonna be really successful. We're gonna really, <laughs> or it's gonna be really bad. <laughs> We're gonna find out soon. Um, godly dagger. We just unlocked the god weapons. It gave us right off the bat, and the torch of revenant. Tears open the earth to release a horde of ghosts that target nearby enemies. Ooh, if we can start pogging out, that's gonna be a really good one to have. Let's see what this dagger does, though. Ooh, so the godly weapons. If you didn't know, the godly weapons are good uh, because they do extra damage. They're supposed to be rare, though. Let's just do the, the ghost thing, see what happens. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. And actually, fighting this guy is not that big of a deal because he summons more things for me to, to defend off against. And with that being a thing, um, I get to get level up my damage quicker. So although it's a, it might be a godly weapon, it is a godly dagger, so it doesn't do a lot of damage right off the bat. But if we can start getting this thing going, being able to just, yeah, 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 you know, do, being able to do one of those really helps out a lot. So I'm guessing this has to be like a spider area. Why? Because maybe just because of the fact that I see a lot of spider things, but that could be, oh, oh we, we, he didn't hit me. We're good. Oh, it stuns him too. Oh, these ones shoot balls now? I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know they could shoot like ball. Oh no, he did it. He did it to me. Dang, that's okay. Run's not over yet. But yeah, we, I only can assume other than the fact that I just saw 30% more during the night. Attack rate by 1.25. Let's do during night because I don't know if it is. It's almost nighttime anyway, so we'll do 30% damage right off the rip. But I mean, this looks like a spider, so that kind of gives me the thing. And also, I need spider webs from one of my crafts. So I'm guessing that I have to get them from the spiders, which would only be mean it's in this last area that I'm in. Oh my god, they swing. Oh my god, they swing. Holy crap. Oh, he, did he stick himself? Oh, so they get stuck in the ground. I'm guessing this gives me yep, the spider webs. I need the spider webs for level two mines. Like I said, I don't really need them, but it would be cool just to build them. Just kind of say I built everything in the game. And I've also got to take back the fibs. It may be because of the update that happened, but I also, I used to say that the, the revealing the map was useless because it was only for one floor. It looks like revealing the map now reveals it for the, um, all the floors. I don't know if it did it the whole time. I never noticed, but it looks like now it does at least for sure. Give me a better chest. Extra heart's cool, I guess. I was hoping for better chests, but... I was hoping for better chests for sure, but, you know, that's okay. This this spider level is going to be the end of me for sure. <laughs> this spider level is going to be the end. There's just so much going on in all these spider these spider floors. I don't like it. Um, I don't like it because it's just too much to, too much to, uh, to take, take account of. I like fighting these guys because they're pretty simple. They just, like, run at you. Oh, my God. Oh, there was balls of light there. That's a fib. I mean, honestly, we could take off the jacket that makes me do more damage, but honestly, like, the trade-off's not that bad. We already have a lot of hearts and stuff. Um, we can get more hearts if we wanted to. We can get more hearts, more gold. I'm going to go with hearts and gold. Like I said, we can get more hearts if we wanted to. We don't really, I mean, taking all that damage doesn't really help. Oh, this just heals me, right? I'm already full health. Can I hit this thing? No, I was hoping, I didn't realize I already was, I was already full health. Gain two for 100? Ooh. Dang, well, that was a waste. <laughs> we could have just went and got lumber, like I said, but I don't need it necessarily, but just gold. Gold we do need. I've been spending all my gold buying all the tarot cards I can, um, just so we can unlock more. I know it, it, the more I buy, the more chance of getting the ones I don't want, for sure, but that's really not that big of a deal because um, the, the ones you can buy are pretty good, honestly. Oh, it's this guy. All right, what are you going to do? Um, he waits by the rocks and the sudden drop. Within the maw, the pointed tip beast, share the heart, the shop. He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith, our brother, the one who waits back, back when he was known by the name of Narider. But as millennia wore on, he grew to stand with his role and he began to question his glorious ambition. Any impedance I loved him for, I lost my mind for. He lost his freedom. Can you fathom such betrayal, lamb, of your own trust to turn against you? What would you like to find out? He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith, our brother, the one who waits. Back then, he was known by the name of Narider. Leader, I'm sorry. Oh, so now we got the scent. Now we got the scent against our people. That's not good. And we just lost some. We lost some 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 stuff. For well, at least it's not that bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. There we go. Let's see. Like I said, we got the godly weapon. We're doing pretty okay. We're not too worried about what goes on here. Give me the free spider webs and we move on. You want to turn my people against me? That's fine. I don't. You know, it's not a big deal. It, it, we already locked everything we needed him for, so it's not like I'm gonna be I'm gonna cry about it. You know, I should be a little bit more upset. And if, if you got if this, if this is the first boss of the game doing this, I'd be I would be more upset. Ooh, overall weapon damage by 1.5. Yes, sir. Plus point. We'll always have that point fifty extra damage. Fifty percent extra damage. We like that. 
like I said, look, the godly weapon's already starting to pog off with 100. It, well, basically, it says 130, but we're way past 130. I'm not going in there. Oh, wait, this is the boss room already. Holy crap, let's get some extra damage then real quick. Let's get that extra damage. Oh, if I don't kill those sacks quick enough, then they then they make spiders. So that's not that big of a deal. Um, we can either do Necromancer Hammer or we can go with Flaming Shot. 18 damage. The speed's down by a lot. Um, we already have the Godly. We already have the Godly weapon, which is supposed to already do more damage. But I don't know if this is if we're doing the right thing or we're doing the wrong thing here. Um, but this boss shouldn't be too hard. This boss shouldn't be too hard. We should be okay. Folklore. A little bit of a cheese for the boys. Oh my god, I forgot the hammers did that. Oh my god, yeah, the hammer was a good choice. The hammer was a great choice. A little bit of bullet hell from, from the boss here, too. Oh my. Free cultist, love that. Hello, sir. Just get in my pocket, please. You can hold Daddy Spock from now on. You can replace the boy we lost. Beetroot seeds for sure. Beetroot seeds for sure. If we're worried about food, beetroot, beetroot's the... Beetroot in combination with everything else makes it the best food it is. So let's go back to the cult. Three more bosses. All right. From here, we're just going to start showing the boss fights. Of all of them. So I will see you guys once we get to the next boss. All right. Boss fight number two. Belpar. I hate this magical weapon that I have. Uh, I'm not mad at the axe. The axe is pretty good, so I don't really complain about it too much. Ooh, this is a poison boss, huh? Oh, God. This is a poison boss. Well, he shouldn't be too bad, though. As long as I get rid of all these these baddies that are out here. Yeet! Oh, no. My damage. Oh, no. We're my damage is good. We're still dodging. We're still dodging. Yeet! There it is. Boss number two down. See you at boss number three. You guys really haven't missed anything, honestly. Like, it's just been me running through the dungeons. But when we get to the final boss, which will probably be next episode, we'll do the whole thing. Let's go. See you guys soon. All right. Boss number three? Technically four. Boss number three of this room, though. Shouldn't be too bad. A little scorpion guy named Haros. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wasn't ready for that. God, this guy, this guy's different. This guy's built different. Oh my God, this is the hardest one I've seen. This is the, this is the hardest one I've seen. We almost messed up with that. Whenever he shot the bullets, I wasn't ready for that. They, they, te they stepped it up a bit. They stepped it up a bit. Here we go. All right. Whatever this one is, that's down. Last boss to go. Final boss. Here we come. Well, actually, two more, right? Two more. Here we go. The boss of the final room before the Vega boss. I told you we'd get there. You know, it took a lot of time. I'm glad we cut up the episode. But here we are. We are here. Let's do it. Let's see if we can. We're not. We're not powerful enough to one shot him, but we might. We might be able to win this one pretty quickly. So let's see what happens. We are fighting. Shamura. Ye blight, see a hunger. They have might. Five becomes four. Four becomes three. Three becomes one. One becomes nothing. Yes, yeah, for sure. You're becoming nothing real soon, buddy. I don't have any good spells, but, you know, we are doing a lot of damage. So I can only hope that this spell is going to absolutely pog out. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh. He is a spider, indeed. Here we go. Okay, this spell kind of sucks, huh? Gonna have to avoid that. It might just be better for me just to just swing at him at this point. No, my damage. Now I gotta play it like a normal person. No. We should be okay. We should be okay. We're, we're, we're doing all right. I mean, I'm not good at bullet hell because I never played Enter the Gungeon, but I have, you know, even without all that extra damage, we should be okay. As long as this guy just leaves me alone. Oh, it's only poison. I'm not, a, I'm not I don't take damage to poison. This is perfect. Oops, we took that one on accident. Okay, two health left. Two health bars left. We're good. We're good. We get. We got this. This is easy. Easy mode. There we go. Told you. Who needs 710 extra damage? 
Then we're at ten percent extra damage when we can just you know do it without it. Oh my god, we're so good. Here it is. Let's see what happens after this. We're gonna free Dad. We're gonna let Dad out of his his, his angry home, and then we're gonna see what happens. Oh my god. A silk cradle. Okay. Cool. That's for DD meeting, buddy. So we only got one this time. Last time we got two, and I think it was for being able to do it without taking a hit. Never mind, we did get two. Okay, so maybe the not, no hit thing is, is a fib in my brain. We almost unlocked all of it for the silk place. We only need two more, but I'm not too worried about that right now. I don't think we get anything for unlocking everything. Let's see what's in here. Heretic's defeated. It's time to see Dad. Dad, I freed you. I hope you're happy with me. I can only hope, right? Hopefully Dad's not mad. Hopefully not. Dad! He's the only one that's a cat, by the way. Shamara was weak, not wise. The vision was too small to contain the multitudes of such as I. The time has come to free me. You shall have true honor returning the red crown to its true bearer. I admit, you would have worn it, it almost as well as I could have. You sacrificed five followers to strengthen the cult to strengthen us. You pre pre appetite for death is something I can admire, Vessel, but the crown is mine. I've only sacrificed five people. Believe that or not, dude. Imagine, I wonder if you can go through the whole game if something else happens if you don't sacrifice anybody. I'm not going to play through it again to figure it out, but I'm sure someone else out there has. If you lay down your life and return to me what is mine after millennia, all I ask is my glory to be once more. But it cannot be done. The final gate awaits. Hurry now. Time is ahead. Hmm. Lamb once slaughtered in the name of the captive god. Ponder this. Whose name does thou slaughter in now? My own. My own name. Allah! Huzzah! It says I have returned to my homies. Back. If you notice, my cult's gotten extremely small. Between the bishop constantly making me destroy my own people to people, you know, uh, old age, a lot of stuff has happened. I've lost a lot of the cultists, but we're okay, I think. We're okay. But hey, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we beat the game. It's going to be episode six, will be the game beater. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for supporting all the cult videos. Thank you for understanding that I haven't been able to post all week this video. I've just been, you know, posting other stuff that I had in the backlogs I was able to edit. Because this game, if you want to know, it took me an hour and a half to almost two hours just to beat. Now we got to go edit. But thank you guys for being there. Thanks for supporting me. And thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day.